what's up y'all i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm late i hope y'all having a good day what's up jlc baby giant dims dims what's up what's up i'm uh i was listening to uh what do you call it a podcast i was listening to a podcast and i lost track of time let me uh take this earpiece this other earpiece out with the podcast in it I Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me, by the way? Let me find this case so I can take this thing out. I have to go back and watch the rest of it later. I haven't even turned on. I haven't even pulled a shirt. Turned the heat press on. Let me move y'all in the room. I hope y'all having a good day. I got my battery packs back. Both of them from my kids, so we good to go. The iPad on 92%. What's up, craft my crafted mind, blast and store. How you doing? Tundrick, how you doing? What's up, the syndicate B? Slogans and quotes, what's up? I haven't seen you in a minute. Welcome back. All right. So I just turned the heat press on that I should have already had on. I had a lot of extra stuff going on this morning. So I've been a little bit distracted. Y'all can hear me, right? Let me know that y'all can hear me. Because sometimes I got these, uh, the cheapest earpieces I can find. Jesse from West Virginia, what's up? Coretta, how you doing? Michelle, how you doing? Y'all can hear me? Can y'all hear me? Let me know if y'all can hear me. Okay, okay. Sometimes I like sometimes I put one in. Uh, I'm gonna be printing on a 3X shirt today. And I was having a few little issues lining up the design, I guess because I was uh distracted. But this is that's what we're gonna be printing today. Right here. Right here. This right here. In my most ghetto as country's voice hopefully it's lined up perfectly if not i'm gonna have to print it out again and press and print it again um i'm gonna grab the shirt size 3x move this out the way this is from last time so You just roll it up because I may be able to use it again. And I got a pre cut sheet already right here. If I can lay it out, what y'all working on today? Let me know what y'all working on today. Uh, I don't know if this sheet has been used or not. It looks like it has. So I'm not going to, I don't know. It, it's not going to matter. I can use it. In the future, are you open to having someone come to your shop hands on? I offered that before. I offered that last year, I think, or I think it was last summer, last year. Um. I didn't get that much of a response. I mean, that would be nice. I would love to do that. I actually had uh, one uh, one uh, session or whatever, but yeah, I had made it a reasonable, I can't even talk, a reasonable price. And um, I did it as a two day training and I had it where the food and everything was provided. But, um, and I had it on my website, actually it's still on my website, but it just says it's out of stock now. But, um, but yeah, I'm just looking at this to make sure it look all right. I think it's going to be, uh, I think it's lined up fairly, fairly decent. Let me find this, uh, 3X shirt. Y'all can see more on my camera, but this is my bin of, uh, shirts right here. So we're going to be, oh, no. This thing fell out my ear. I think my other ear worked better. Let me switch this thing up. Put it in the other ear. 
because I, I prefer my right ear with the earpiece in. Mic check one, two, one, two. Y'all can hear me? Let me. Y'all can still hear me? Let me, uh, I usually put this in the hallway because this biggest, the biggest heat press is in, is in the smallest room of the shop. I actually want to put it in the other room, but, um, I changed my mind about how I wanted that to be laid out. So, and I, they had a last minute add on. I was hoping they would have wanted the front and the back printed when they did have this add on, but they just wanted a name on the back of there. So that's, that's what I'll be doing. I probably won't do that on video, but, um, cause I haven't even printed that out and I got to print it out, make sure it's dry. Well, for the big ones, it take a little bit to dry for those that don't really, I usually, um, like once they approve of the design, I usually print it out and I let the sheets dry and then I print them the next day. Um, I have, let me see, I got the sub V shirts right here I'm going to be printing on today. I was trying to see if I had any more of the other ones, so I go ahead and get rid of them and have nothing but sub V. But this is the, I guess that's how you say it, sub V shirts right here, 3X. They are easier to print, easier to get flat to me. I feel like they are easier for you to lay flat. So when you do, uh, let me put these back in here. This large somehow got out of order with the rest of them. Let's see. I got like three different stacks of large, two different stacks of extra large. All right, so these are the gilding large. And put it back with them. I was gonna do some DTF today also, but I think I'm just gonna do the all over print. I think I'm gonna end this day early. I got a, uh, the guy came yesterday for the, that big order, but it wasn't as big as he was originally saying. You always get that. They'll tell you one thing. Then I had to flip that price back for him because you, he had got that, uh, got a discount for having so many, but I had to add a little bit more back on there. What's up, Reno? How you doing? Them says I'm at the movies watching Wakanda forever. So I, all right. All right, uh, look, I forgot the little Wakanda uh, symbol thing. <laughs> I was going to do that to you, Dimps, but I forgot. Forgot how to do it. I took my kids to see that first one, but I don't know. I wasn't really that interested in going to see the next one. Let me see. So when you are printing these shirts like this, you have to, the main thing is to make sure they are flat. So you gotta be a little bit patient, take some extra care. Let me move y'all over to the side a little bit. What's up, Miss Nina Bug? How you doing? What's up, Brenda? How you doing? Logan's slogan said, "I've had my screen printer since." I first got with you, but I don't know how to use it. I'm a hands-on learner. I, I, I can, if, I don't know if you are close by, if you are local, I can help you. I will probably be going to Dallas tomorrow and coming back home tomorrow. I got to hit big boy up. I'm going to take this off, do a fresh, a fresh, fresh sheet. I moved the trash can out of here into the hallway. I used to have that trash can back over there, but I I moved it into the hallway. 
because I had my brother over here doing a lot of printing and uh it was just a better place to have it because like with this one I usually just throw it over the wall now and just put it in there when I get done with all of them. All righty. All righty then. All right. Now let me make sure we got it flat. This is Reno. I'm working on the laptop right now and playing music on my phone. What's up, Sean Sean? Where you been hiding out at, Sean Sean? Sean Sean have been hiding out. Just got to make sure this is laid out flat, flat, flat. And this sleeve is a little bit weird. I just want to make sure everything is flat because, you know, like when you're ironing, it's kind of the same thing. That, Do I have another white sheet that's cut? Nope. Let me cut a sheet real quick. y'all a little tip that I do sometimes um, when it's not flat flat like how I want it to be sometimes I will use a piece of tape to tape it down so that I make sure that I get it flat flat like how I want it flat flat And you got to make sure that the bottom is not showing, it's not uh, on top. Move that out a little bit. So that's like the main thing. You don't want the back to be on the front because it's kind of got that little seam on there. This is a pretty big shirt. When you're doing a smaller shirt, you don't have to. I ain't gonna say you don't have to, but you don't usually have as much issues getting everything flat. But I'm just taping everything down right now. The heat press is on 273. As soon as it get up to 400, we should be about ready to print. All right. This little armpit area. I don't know about it. Tell you what, I'm going to take this down up here a little bit. Maybe I can get that more straight. And hope, oh, y'all can't even see what I'm doing, huh? My bad. The, my camera, I got that lens, a wide lens on my camera, so you can see more when I'm, when I'm doing this. But uh, all I'm doing is just, I ain't going to sit up there, my nip. Trying to get this as straight as I can right here. Uh, I got a visitor, y'all. Y'all give me a sec. Hey, how you doing? Good. Do you have a white iron oil? Yes, yes, sir. Let me see. The, um, this right here, that's glow in the dark. This is a 
one yard roll, and then I think down there that's white. If you just need a sheet, Let's see. And I was gonna say, and I do have. Oh, that's UV orange. Do I have? You know, I may need to cut some. Well, no, it's right here, I think. So the, the one yard is good. Okay. All right. Save me a drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, next year is going to be a whole lot more. I'm have a whole lot more vinyl interest because okay. I was kind of just trying it out. See how it is. Uh huh. To see if people actually come here. Uh -huh. It's a uh, ten eighty nine. Yes, they just kept the. Well, I guess it's yeah. Walmart I'm, doesn't ever have it. 11 cents is your change. Let me see. Yeah. You, right. yeah. you want a rubber band around it? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, if that yeah. tape wasn't sticking that good yeah. on there. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome and thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. I'm about to go all in with this t shirt supply business. For this upcoming year, that's my that's my plan. It's gonna be a different a different look up in here. We're just gonna go on and press that because that's under the armpit, and this it may not be exactly exactly perfect right there. We gonna try because it's uh it's just one uh print one all over print on there. So we're gonna go ahead and press it and see what happens. It's on yeah, past 300, so it should be it should be ready, hot enough. Yeah, I use the F570. Let me see. That's that's my printer right there. It's a 24 inch printer and I just like tape both of the sheets together. I got a video that I show exactly how you get it because um, it's usually usually seamless prints. Um, since I learned the process that I do, it's seamless prints. So you can see right there, it's taped together. Well, y'all can't see. You can see right there. I don't know if you can tell it's taped together. Okay, let me do this uh, heat press over here. And we're going to see if it's pancake-like. Because that, that's the goal. We, we want to make a pancake for breakfast this morning. Or lunch. A lunch pancake will do too. See what it's looking like. All right. I think it came out pretty flat. Um, you can see... The lines right here, but they're on the back of the shirt. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna still try to straighten it out a little bit. I don't know if y'all. Oh, my earpiece fell out once again. My ears ain't cooperating this morning, I guess. All right, so that's what it's looking like. That's how flat it is, and we gotta let it get up to 400. It's on 345 now, so we gotta let it get up to four hundred before we can press so if y'all got any questions y'all can ask now let me i'm gonna roll this thing up some and uh and see it's gonna be shaky for a minute see if y'all can get a better a better view once i do that do you prefer epson printers um i you know, if you go back to all of my older videos, I always talk bad about Epson because I don't really care for Epson printers. But I wasn't about to spend the amount of money. I mean, I don't have no issues with this one. This one is a pretty good printer. I, I really don't have no issues with it. But in the past, I have had um, issues with Epson printers, like the print heads clogging and different things like that. And um, just using up so much ink and... You know, they don't want you using other ink cartridges and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, it, Epson printers, they print really good and stuff. you got to make sure you're using them often. And, uh, you know, they 
they good. But like in the past, I have talked a lot about um, Elson because I, I kind of got a love hate relationship with him. Then I just had a, a issue that I saw myself with this printer and I did a video on it. And I had a couple people come in saying, thank you. I just this helped me because when I contacted Elson, they were telling me I was going to have to put the print in the shop. And the only thing it was was a piece of paper stuck in there from the road. But um, um, Betty Neal says it's Epson Eco Tank 1500. If it's an Eco Tank, you know, you don't have to worry about replacing the chips, I mean, replacing the uh, cartridges and all that. So I would say an uh, Eco Tank is probably better than one with the cartridges. So I would say, I would say yes, but I have never used that printer. So I can't really speak on, you know, that printer. Uh, what's my favorite? Um, for this, I use, I use the Epson ink because the Epson ink is very cheap and it lasts for a very long time. Um, I bought ink once. I had this printer at my old shop and I moved over here in 2022 and I have bought ink once. Well, it came with two things of ink and I bought ink once and I am on like, uh, I haven't even opened the last black right here and I just keep it in this. This came with it. I just like to keep my ink in here, but I haven't opened this black yet. And this is probably at least halfway full. The red, um, the yellow is more than halfway full. And the blue, I can't really tell because it's dark, but it should be a good amount in there. And my ink, I could refill my inks now. It's about on halfway right now. And I've had this printer for a very long time, for some years, like, I bought this before before I went to uh, Karen's, it came in in like December of, I wanna say 2020, I think December of 2020. So, you know, the ink do real good in the ink tanks. And um, like with this printer, okay, it's on 393. So we about to get ready to press, but yeah, um, I, I just use the regular ink for this, the Epson, ink for this because it's so cheap you know some of the other inks are expensive like when you buy in the cartridges but this this ink is very cheap um unless the price has went up recently because i to, um to be honest with you i bought i it came with two um i bought the another one just to have an extra one and i haven't had to um replace it and i don't have no i don't do no maintenance on this printer it do its own maintenance like when i get ready to print Sometimes it kind of makes me mad. If I would do maintenance on it, maybe it wouldn't do that. But sometimes Sean Sean says hit the like button, share, subscribe. Thank you, Sean Sean. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. But yeah, it I don't really have uh I don't I have haven't done the maintenance on this printer myself. It usually do it itself. And I kind of get mad because it's like, okay, it want to wait until I get ready to use the printer to do the maintenance. It could have did already. But I have been having an issue. I don't know if it's the printer, I don't know if it's my internet. But last time I did all over prints and I hit the print button to print off this printer because it's hooked up wirelessly, um, my internet messed up. And I was like, you know, resetting the box, trying to figure it out. I didn't have time to sit on the phone with AT&T, so I never did call them. And I was just like, I hope nobody comes in here with a credit card because I can't accept the credit cards without the internet working. But then, um, okay, it's on, it's on 400. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, remove this tape and then like a little while later when i wasn't even thinking about the internet it was back on by the time i did have a customer so um to, and was able to take the credit card payment but um then this last time when i went to print this out yesterday when i went to print it out yesterday the same thing happened to my internet again but then I, I like hit the reset button and was fooling around with it. And at and sent me a message saying something about um, your, your, uh, we see you having issues with your internet. So then I had left and came back and my internet was working. So I don't know if it's the printer because I've been having to plug it in, to, you know, with the USB to do it. I'm going to go back and see um, the random my press is, I just say M-O-G-K, M-O-G-K, but that's how you spell it, M-O-G-K. It's not abbreviated, because I don't know how to say that. Mock, mock, mog, mog, I don't know. 
MOGK. That's what I always say. I have a video, like all the equipment that I own, I have videos about it, like unboxing videos, videos talking about it, what I think about it and stuff like that. But I, um, yeah, I have all those videos. But this printer has been discontinued. They do have a semi-automatic version of it. Like this one, I have to open it myself. They have one that I think it opens and closes on its own. Um, I didn't want to pay that much for it. Cause this one already hit me up for a good bit. Um, uh, what's up, Mario? How you doing? Kaya says I was looking through the links for the heat press you're using right now. I apologize. For you. Um, it's discontinued. There's not a link for it because it's discontinued. Thank you, Betty. Let me see. Thank you, Jesse, for answering that answering that question. Um, let me see. The heat press is uh it's either 33 by 43 or 40, 34 by 44, something to that effect. What's up, Fabulosis? Appreciate you jumping on here. A says it's been a while. Still sub. What's up? Good to see you still doing live. So appreciate you jumping on here, Ace. Dang it. Y'all give me a sec. I forgot to do something. I'll be right, right, right back. I be forgetting to do stuff because I have too much going on, and then I'll be interrupted by a customer. And uh, give me just a second, just a second. YouTube is on it this morning too. I gotta do something on uh, line real quick. My bad. And then I'll be right back. And then I'm going to turn the internet off on this other thing because, uh, yeah. I think my internet don't be that good sometimes. I don't know why I got off on here. All right. I'm coming back. And make sure I removed all of the tape off of here. All right, and let me make sure that I put a neck thing in here. Which way I need to put it? This way. The bigger ones usually you have to put it upside down. And I put this in here because, like, when you're printing, when you're doing all over sublimation and you print like this, it don't print, it don't go through. It don't go through like the when you're printing on this side, it does not go through to the back. But if you look on the inside of the shirt, you can see it through on the other side of the, you know, that same side or whatever. Now it's some thread up in here. Let me get this thread out. Thread. But like um if you don't put it on this collar, it you can't it will be you can see it through the back side. So it's it's always good to um do that. And I showed y'all how how I do those in the other in the last video. Try to make sure I ain't miss no questions real quick because I'm gonna get off of here once I do this. Uh print this for y'all. Let me see. Logan's is in Florida. Just had the door closed. Let me make sure this ain't nobody out here real quick. It must be next door at the uh, Maze of Manny. Slogans and quotes says hit the like button. What's up, Caroline? How you doing? All right. I think I think I got everybody. If I didn't get you, come in again. Cause I like to acknowledge everybody and I see it down at the bottom. Miss Bubblegum, how you doing? All right. Your Bob isn't ready for that price. What's up, Angelic? Appreciate, appreciate you jumping on here. 
All right, I think I got everybody. If I did not get you, what Miss Crafty Creations, how you doing? Um, y'all leave another comment. I'm not trying to skip you, but I know y'all wanting to see this. What's up, Paula? How you doing? Let me see. Okay. All right. So I just ordered some new uh well, it's the same paper I've been using, but I believe they changed it. Y'all, I'm gonna show it to y'all. I'm gonna uh I don't know. Maybe it was because it was wet yesterday. Let me make sure. Dang it. Y'all see it's Y'all can't even see the issue that I'm having right here. Right there. All right. Let me see. Is that part? Is, is, are you going to be okay part right there? Because you look like you don't want to be okay. And make sure the tape was like it's wanting to come off. Sometimes like when I lay it down, I have to like reposition it. But it looks pretty bright on that paper. I don't know, I might have threw the other one away. So yesterday, while it was printing, it ran out of paper. And this is the same paper right here. I don't know, maybe it, it, looks, it looks the same. It looks the same. I just thought that uh, it didn't look right. That the new paper was brighter, but it it looks about the same. It looks about the same. But yeah, like the the all of they do have some smaller ones, and they do have some like some of those channel presses. But like when I be buying stuff for my business, I don't be want. I be. I mean, you can't stop stuff from not working correctly because i have had um expensive things not work correctly before all right we just, i'm just making sure everything is lined up fairly decently and we're gonna gently 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 very gently try to turn this thing over ah don't don't fall please don't fall that's the last thing you need to do is fall all right i'm gonna double check one more time this front okay then we're gonna go ahead flip this thing over and make sure this tape is gonna hold it until i get this thing printed but yeah they do have some uh cheaper presses but like the way i be doing i'm like i want to get it get something that's gonna last the life of my business if i can and if it's uh a lot of times if you buy that like the chinese equipment this press i believe they say it was made in italy but if you buy like that chinese equipment sometimes if you have issues with it you'll think you buy the part to replace it but It'll be a completely different part because they change. They change the parts they use to make the same things. My phone ring, y'all. Give me a sec. Give me just a sec. Custom printed. Yes, I am. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's the guy that called and said he was coming yesterday. I guess he, I don't know. Then he didn't show up. But he said he on his way now. All right. We should be good on the sides. Like, what I'm doing now, I'm just, like, feeling to make sure that the shirt is fully covered by the design. So, right here, this is the collar of the shirt right here. So the design is past the collar, so we should be good on that. Where, where is that? A little dust fall or something on there? All right. And actually, I'm going to use this right here, the one that I think had been used before. I'm going to turn it over because it's a little bit curled. There was. All right. So 
So we're going to go ahead and press that thing. I know that's right. Must try to go with the best quality for the Yeah, and like like um the a lot of the heat press, especially if it's something, you know, you don't you do not want your all over press to stop working while you're working with it. Not that I can uh make it not, but you know, you do want to get like what's supposed to be the best quality. Like you can get parts for this. I actually bought it used and um it was almost as much as they sell them for new. I was kind of mad about that because I thought I was um gonna be getting a new one, but then it's like, well, we don't have any because it's been discontinued, but we do have this one that uh that we have in stock. Leave it for a little bit. It's not black, so let me see. I gotta make sure that it got the corners and everything. The corners and everything. Let me see. Ah, my whoo fingertips, fingertips. My fingerprints going off of their hand. All right, I missed the little corner on that one over there. So I'm going to slide it over a little bit. Like the paper, the paper that I use is a little thicker, the bottom paper. So I'm going to slide it over a little bit so I can get that little corner that I missed. It's just like a little thumbnail. We're going to do about, I guess, Maybe 30 seconds. What's up, Rock? How you doing? Jewel? Well, at least you are able to get parts. Yep. Yeah, that's like uh, one of the main things you want to make sure. I don't want to, just for that little corner, it should be good. I don't want to leave it too long because it is some black in it. And you can... Uh, Overdo it with the black sometimes. And it, it kind of, that's, let me see. Okay, we didn't mess up the black. I don't like how it kind of did over here, though. But it's going to be all right. Y'all ready for the reveal? If y'all ready for the reveal, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. So we can go ahead and reveal it. We got 46 people in here. Let's get 46 thumbs up. And I really have burnt my fingertip right here. I don't know if y'all can even tell. Y'all see that? It's really burnt for real. What's up, Jocelyn? How you doing? I, don't, I can't even see the thumbs up, y'all. I'm bluffing. But I'm going to give people time because I think some people might be hitting thumbs up. We got 43 people on here. They might have jumped off to do that. Dems says, yes, sure. Dems, watch that movie. Watch the movie, Dems. You can see this later. <laughs> watch the movie, Dems. All right, we're going to go ahead. Is everybody back now? We got 44 back. Everybody back now? I don't want to reveal while somebody is hitting the thumbs up button. I think everybody might have had time. We're missing two people, but they, they might have been the ones that didn't want to see it. They was like, you know what? We're going to get off of here because we don't want to see it. Yeah, because I, I be having like one thumbs down on all my videos. It's crazy. One person get up every morning just to see if I got a video. Just to see if I got a video so they can thumbs it down. All right, so here we are right here. That's what it's looking like right there in those colors i like those colors i'm gonna show y'all the little the little error that's on there Let me throw it. the trash can is somewhere somewhere in the area i just tossed it all right let me see if i can get y'all off of here for a minute thank you miss miss crafty What's up, Josie? Appreciate you jumping on here. Thank you. I right, I'm a uh let me take this off. I'm gonna show y'all where I didn't have it all the way on there somehow. That's what it's looking like right there. 
Yeah, uh, it ain't all the way seamless today, y'all. It ain't all the way seamless today. I had a lot of distractions, but it's going to make it, though. It's going to make it. Y'all see right there, that little part right here? That what the part that didn't have the, uh, hopefully y'all can see it. Let me make sure I'm not covering it with my hand. That was the part that didn't have the thing on it right there. So that's, that's what it's looking like right there. And it, you can kind of see the seam a little bit. It's lined up perfectly, but you can kind of see the seam. I don't know. I didn't do it 100% perfect, but. And all my other videos, I did. Dimps, get off of here and go watch that movie. Go watch the movie, Dimps. But thank you, though. Let me see. Sean Sean says, I'm ready to wear this shirt, but it's not. <laughs> you want me to make you one, Sean Sean? I can, I can hook you up. I can hook you up if you want one, Sean Sean. Look, I'm still looking at it. The, the colors on that is nice to me. I like that. Most people be wanting like red and black and stuff. My bad, y'all can't even see it. But I think the colors, probably because it's different. I think the colors, uh, they look nice. Let me see. Thank you, Paula D. And y'all know what the crazy part is? This is the same, uh, this is the same, uh, what you call it, template. I've been using this, this same template that I got from Innate Labs because you can change it up. You can change the font on there. You can change the colors on there. You can change pretty much the whole thing. So, you, you know, you go on there, buy you one uh, template, buy you one sports template, buy you one, which I bought. I bought a whole bunch of other templates. Buy you one sports template. Buy you one uh, memorial template. And then you can, like, change it up and make a whole bunch of different designs with it. And as you make money, you can, you can buy different templates if you like. Or you can learn to make your own. Because sometimes I do make my own. Um, like that, the one for that kid's birthday that was like a superhero i can't even tell hero when i'm what's up mike burton appreciate you thumbs and up i made that one myself and um one of the ones in the other video i made myself i just used the words from one of hers but appreciate y'all watching appreciate y'all watching um let me see all right Yep, she got some, some good stuff over there. And a lot of people, I bought stuff off of Etsy, but some of that stuff that I bought off of Etsy is not as good as hers because hers has got so many different, um, what do you call it, components to the different layers. Hers got so many different components to the layers, but the ones on, the ones on Etsy, sometimes you can't even change everything, but like with NA Lab stuff, you can change everything on hers. You can change... You can change everything. You change the fonts, the colors, the background. If you want to put your own background in there, you can still get the effects from her background. Like I bought, I bought one off of uh, and see, like um, the NA Labs um, on her website, she got the got a template that you use to print the shirts with. But when I used her template, it didn't work for me. Because I guess the shirts that she was using or whatever, but the sizes wasn't right for me. So I have my own template that I use, like when I print my stuff out. And uh, so, um, I like with hers, I just save it. I create it in her template, and then I save it without that um, part that makes it shape like a shirt on it. And then I put it in my template. So all of her stuff is organized in folders. It tells you foreground, background, everything, you know. But a person on uh, Etsy that I bought, the stuff wasn't like that. And I was trying to figure out how to make it so that I could use it in my own template. And so I contacted that person. That person was very rude and stuff. So I'm just like, you know what? I ain't buying nothing else. They, um, 
and then see they had that in the wrong folder they had that in the folder that said background okay that's the foreground because that's on top of everything but i'm just like i don't even know sean sean says i would love that i'm not taking it off either sean sean i don't know if you got one that you need done i can do it for you if you want me to yeah like i'm still looking at it still 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 looking at it what size is that chris it's uh it's either 34 by 40 44 or 43 by 33 something to that effect kaya says you need to get some of your resin make sure you got that resin on deck josie so she can get get some of your resin let me see thank y'all all the ones that put the emojis up there but um i'm making sure let me see i was just making sure i didn't have any questions that i missed Jules says got the smaller dtf converted all right all right Jules. i know you ready to do some dtf prints the best unit says doing pre-orders only all right so if y'all need some is it resin is it your resin uh you're doing pre-orders or is it something else that i miss a comment um if y'all go check the best uni website and you can put your website on here uni excuse me you can put your website on here and you may have to put dot com instead of the dot com but um okay so if y'all need uv resin um y'all can check out the best uni she also got uh what is it called the the other kind of ink that you have that you can do like signs and stickers with i can't think of what it's called right now she got that she got the paper this is stuff that i know that she have i don't know if she have everything right now or if she's you know in stock or she's doing pre-orders for other stuff too but this is all the stuff that i know that she have so y'all make sure y'all go over there and check her out um what's up toebox how you doing thank you appreciate that appreciate it eco sub yeah the eco sub I, my brain don't be right uv resin eco sub ink and the eco sub ink is kind of like you convert a sublimation printer you can do the eco sub ink which allows you to print onto i don't know if you can print on any vinyl but i know that she sells the vinyl that you can that you can print on so if y'all interested in like making your own stickers like making labels and different things like uh I, this ain't really a good representation of this some of my son cleaning stuff but you can make like labels and stuff like this to put on different things if y'all make products like if you make and you don't have to have a huge printer to do it you get one of the small printers and just make you some stickers and labels and stuff but um i'm gonna go ahead and jump up here i was trying to be on here for about 30 minutes but uh yeah and if y'all don't know the link to uh unis y'all can go to her page and i'm sure she got it below her videos i'm pretty sure so y'all can go over there if y'all are interested in uh getting any of those items that i was talking about earlier but i'm gonna go ahead and jump off of here i appreciate y'all jumping on here with me um i got some other stuff to do i was gonna do some dtf but um the lady was like um that's okay because it was some shirts that i some stock transfers or whatever she she said that she wasn't gonna need them so yeah well, I'm gonna go ahead and um jump off of here and I appreciate y'all watching and I will see y'all in the next episode of T-shirt Chick TV, which will be Sunday, 9 a.m. Um, make sure y'all bring your snacks and stuff because it's a pretty good long, it ain't like super long, but it's a decent length um of y'all of me hooping, teaching y'all how I hoop like with my embroidery machine to make it a bigger, a bigger design. So if y'all interested in getting into embroidery or if y'all doing embroidery and y'all have never needed to make a bigger size, you know, y'all can learn how to do that. But I appreciate y'all and I will see y'all in the next episode. But until then, be blessed.